Martin Jorgensen was a Danish trapper who disappeared in the Nahani Valley in 1917, leaving behind a mystery that would baffle and intrigue adventurers and historians for decades to come. Jorgensen was a seasoned outdoorsman who had been trapping in the Nahani Valley for several years and was known to be a skilled and experienced survivalist. But despite his expertise, he vanished without a trace, leaving behind few clues as to his fate. Jorgensen's disappearance was not the first mysterious incident to occur in the Nahani Valley, which was already notorious for its legends of headless bodies and supernatural creatures. But his story would become one of the most famous and enduring of all the valley's legends, thanks in large part to the diary that he left behind. Jorgensen's diary was discovered in 1945 by a group of prospectors who stumbled upon his cabin deep in the valley. Inside, they found the trapper's journal, which contained a detailed account of his final days in the valley. The diary revealed a story of survival and terror that would captivate readers for generations to come. According to Jorgensen's diary, he had been trapping in the valley for several months, and had established a remote cabin as his base of operations. But one day, he ventured deep into the valley in search of new game and stumbled upon a strange and terrifying creature that he called the Nahani Terror. Jorgensen described the Nahani Terror as a devil-like creature with glowing eyes and a massive hulking frame. The creature was incredibly fast and agile, and seemed to have a supernatural ability to track and hunt its prey. Jorgensen tried to evade the creature, but it seemed to be always one step ahead of him, stalking him relentlessly through the valley. As the days went on, Jorgensen's situation grew more desperate. He ran out of food and was forced to subsist on a meager diet of berries and roots. He tried to escape the valley, but the creature seemed to block his every move, driving him back into the heart of the valley. In his diary, Jorgensen wrote of his growing fear and desperation as he realized that he was being hunted by a creature that was both powerful and intelligent. He began to suffer from insomnia and nightmares, plagued by visions of the Nahani terror coming for him in the darkness. Finally, after several weeks of living in constant fear and uncertainty, Jorgensen was captured by the creature. He wrote of a fierce struggle in which he fought desperately to defend himself against the creature's razor-sharp claws and massive strength. But ultimately he was overpowered and the creature beheaded him, taking his head as a trophy. Jorgensen's diary ends abruptly at this point, leaving the fate of the trapper and the true nature of the Nahani terror shrouded in mystery. Some have speculated that Jorgensen's story was a work of fiction, while others believe that it was a true account of a terrifying encounter with a supernatural creature. In the years since Jorgensen's diary was discovered, numerous expeditions have been launched to try and uncover the truth behind the trapper's disappearance. But despite the efforts of explorers and historians, the mystery of Martin Jorgensen and the Valley of Headless Men remains unsolved, a haunting and enduring reminder of the strange and wondrous mysteries that lie hidden in the wilderness of Canada's far north.